We are live on SYMK, and my friends, thank you for being here. I hope you grab some friends because we're gonna have some fun. My name's Emil, and I am a beautiful, gorgeous host. This is Crystal. Hi. She's just here. Hey, just standing here. My friends, SYMK, the internet's most passionate, amazing live game show you're ever gonna play, is about to start. What are we doing tonight? Well, first, tell them how to play. Okay, first of all, I hope you are logged into our chat room because that's the only way we accept answers. And we're going to be out some really cool information and then we're going to have that one question tonight. One. Be the first person to answer that question correctly via that chat room. And you, my friend, will win $100. And after that, you get to pick anybody else in the chat room to give $100 to also. Oh my God, we're giving you money to have a good time? What? Crazy? Tell every human being you know about it. There's still time. There is. Tell them. There's share buttons on the bottom. Share it, share it, share it. And but not what? long, because the show's only 10 minutes long. 10 minutes long. And we'll be back on the 28th, 29th, someday like that, on the bottom for another great show. We go on every other Wednesday. Guys, you know what the night show's about? If you got the clue, you'll know it's about the FBI's most wanted list. Because guess what? Murderers, rapists, all around <laughs> bad guys, they are our neighbors. They live right next door to us. Did you know that? I live in a good neighborhood. No, you no, don't. I don't. <laughs> but I don't. I don't even know. Can you go home and be comfortable knowing that? So now that you're all safe and snug in your bed, log on to the FBI's most wanted list and check out these guys and see if any of them look like your hedge free neighbors. They might. They might look just like that. Are you interested in how it started? Let's hear it. All right. In the 1950s, a guy. He's a reporter. He's got the little hat, a little feather, and a little card. He's like, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna go to the FBI and get the toughest guys list. Look at these guys Ooh, that they got. Tough dudes. Tough dudes. So now he's got the list and he puts it out. And everybody in the country's like, oh my God, these guys are crazy. Insanity. What do I do? And the media sensation is so huge that media darling J. Edgar Hoover says, I love this. And he initiates the 10 most wanted program. All right. So first question is, how bad do you have to be to get on this list? Not so bad. Uh, really bad. Number one, you must commit a federal crime, preferably more than just once. So you gotta not have a good time. You and you have to be on the lam long enough to worry more than just your local sheriff. Now, your local sheriff says, oh my god, my gut's a little too big, and I'm not going after this guy. He's a mitre. <laughs> so he sends it to one of 56 FBI field offices. Those guys look at it, and they're like, wow, this dude's a mitre. Bad so, dude. <laughs> bad dude. So they send it up to pay scale to the CID, Criminal Investigation investigations division. These guys are just like a popularity contest. Who's the worst of the worst? They vote on who to send up another level. After that voting, you might grace the presence of the top 10 list. All right, so they say that you must meet two criteria. Number one, you must be a public threat. And have tattoos? No, no. a menace to society type thing. All, All right. right. And number two, will it take more than just local media's attention to aid in your capture. Yeah, does the whole world need to get involved? Because if they do, you're a bad dude. Mm -hmm. Here's an interesting one. All right. There is a man who's a bank robber, murderer, just all around villainy kind of guy, named by the Tom, it's James Holden. Thomas James Holden. I love this guy. Uh, he's also, he was also wanted for the murder of his wife, her brother, oh yeah, and her stepbrother. And he drowned a puppy, kicked a kitten, and probably dumped all the water out of the goldfish bowl. <laughs> like stabbed it. <laughs> yeah, that's the guy. He was like, ah, I don't have any of that. That guy was a tough guy. He was awful. And But you know what? He was so bad that there was this media blitz with the top 10 list. And uh, within just less than a year, a oh, private yeah. citizen saw him in a uh, Oregon newspaper and said, ah, I know that guy. He I know this gentleman. And then he got arrested. Guess what yeah. the gentleman who knew the gentleman got? <laughs> What One gentleman gave the other gentleman who knew a gentleman a hundred thousand dollars, a hundred thousand dollars, and that is the FBI's minimum reward for catching a bad guy. Who wouldn't you turn in for a hundred k? I would turn in a crippled kid who's got the cure for cancer and AIDS in his pocket, and I would beat him, plant drugs on him, and say, "This guy is." I wouldn't do no such thing. <laughs> Go. That is exactly why out of the 463 people that have been captured or located, 152 of them have been a direct result of citizen cooperation. It would have been three if there was no money involved. Three. My <laughs> prediction. But check this out. 494 people have been on the list. 494 people since 1950s. And guess how many of them were caught or located? 
463. That is a 94% success rate. Amazing. That is ridiculously sick. What government agency program has that kind of a success rate? None of them. They actually bat zero, zero, and zero. <laughs> and then this one comes out of nowhere. <laughs> all right, and it kind of makes up for all the other ones. Yeah. Well, Bye guys. out of the 494 people that have been on the list, only eight have been women. And that proves that women are just not as awesome as men. In crime dealings and 50s shenanigans, of course. Shenanigans. I'll give you shenanigans. <laughs> shenanigans. That's <laughs> first <No>. shenanigans. <laughs> shenanigans. So shenanigans. <laughs> <laughs> he said shenanigans. Dick. Stop with the shenanigans. <laughs> you know what? Eight women. Eight women, Crystal. That's right. So most people can probably agree that there are three people that have been on that list that are probably the most heinous cr criminals. Who are they? All right. So there's James Ray. Yes. Uh, Ted Bundy. Yeah. And Osama bin Laden. Look at how evil these guys look. Oh Just menacing. Oh. Look at the guy on the left with the glasses. That was a really good FBI rendering. Yeah, FBI, good job. I know where those people are. That's $300,000 <laughs> to me, right? Now, check this out. Mm -hmm. Victor Manuel Guerin was on the America's Most Wanted Top 10 list. Everybody wants him, even his grandma, for 25 years. The bad dude. 25 years. He walked around with a fake glasses and nose. Nobody caught him. <laughs> and a paper bag over his head. <laughs> <laughs> and a cowboy hat. <laughs> Nobody noticed him. Nobody. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> so, out of all the states, California holds the record for the most fugitives caught at 59. Go mm -hmm. And then, of course, outside of the United States, the other country that has the most captures is Mexico with 15. <sighs> Are you or a loved one pursued by the FBI, have you made the list? Allow me to help you. I'm gonna tell you what three states to go to that no top tenor has ever been caught. Never. I will f Let's do this. First, Alaska. Why? Because Alaska has its own kind of crazy that nobody wants to deal with. <laughs> so you say, where else can I go, Emil? I can't deal with that kind of crazy. How about Maine? <gasps> but Emil, doesn't Stephen King guard the borders vigilantly? He does, America. So there's only one more place that I didn't even know existed till today. It's a little place called Delaware. That's still a state? That's, I thought Puerto Rico took it over. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's where you can go, those three states. And if you're hiding there and the FBI says, what made you go here? Tell them what Emil sent you. Now, as a side note, Two of the FBI's most wanted fugitives that have been caught were caught when just an everyday Joe was taking a tour of the FBI's court headquarters and said, ah, I recognize that guy. Think about that. Hey, I'm on vacation. Oh my God, that's the guy watching my poodle. That's Mindy. He's watching my poodle. <laughs> His name is Mindy. Yeah. <laughs> he should have known that that guy was in hiding. His yeah. name was Mindy. Well, you know what? There's a lot of ways you could be caught, but there's one really popular way. Ah. What was it? Out of all the people that have been caught, how many have been caught from the aid of the show, America's Most Wanted, America Fights Back. Go! Oh my God. Guess what? Chelsea Bush, you are Yay! a winner. Now, the number was 17. 17, that's um, all for one show. That's all amazing, that's kick ass. That, Chelsea, I'm so glad you won, my friend. So, so glad. We're gonna give you some money and you're gonna go and spend it on something beautiful. I want you to do me another favor, Chelsea. Find somebody in the room that you like and tell me, Emma, I like this guy. I'm gonna give him a hundred bucks too. I like this woman. I'm gonna give her a hundred bucks too. Make someone's day. Make someone's Make day. Make someone's night. Someone's week. Now, share the game. Follow us on Facebook, Twitter, everywhere. We're everywhere all the time. Give us your email address so we can send you clues. Thank you so much for playing. Oh, hi to, uh, hi to uh, Stephen Brown. I told him I'd say hi. Oh, Stephen Brown. Hello. Hi. What I'm gonna ask for you to do is one thing for me, guys. Come back again and play some more and win some more money. We'll How see you in two weeks. How much fun is that? We'll see you in two weeks. Bye, everybody. Congratulations.